At your details, President Abdel Fattah Sisi instructed on Thursday to take all necessary procedures to increase the reclamation of lands at Tushka region using the agricultural methods suitable for the region's climate and the nature of land. The President made these remarks during his meeting with Minister of Defense and Military Production, Mohammed Zaki, and some concerned officials on the pace of work at the National Project for Agricultural Production and Land Reclamation at Tushka region. The head of state directed more integration among concerned sectors on to achieving the state's strategic objective of increasing the cultivated lands. President El Sisi was also briefed on the government's efforts for developing the infrastructure in the region, whether roads, water stations, agricultural machinery or modern irrigation equipment. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held talks on Thursday over the phone with Pakistani Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif. President El Sisi expressed his sincere condolences to the government and people of Pakistan over the victims of the floods, assuring Egypt's solidarity with the country in light of the difficult circumstances and losses caused by the floods. President El Sisi also praised the historic ties between the two countries, reiterating that Egypt looks forward to developing cooperation with Pakistan, exchanging experiences in various fields and consulting on regional issues of mutual concern. For his part, the Pakistani Prime Minister expressed gratitude for President El-Sisi's gesture, assuring the depth of the bilateral ties and expressing his keen interest to explore new horizons for fruitful cooperation between Egypt and Pakistan, especially in the field of climate change in light of the upcoming COP27 in Sharm el-Sheikh. The International Special Olympic Committee granted President Abdel Fattah Sisi its international award on Thursday. The award is in appreciation of full support provided by President El Sisi for people with special needs on all levels and is considered the most prestigious award that is granted to kings and presidents for supporting people with special needs. President El Sisi voiced deep appreciation and gratitude to the award he received, saying it reflects appreciation for Egypt's continent continuous efforts in embodying humanitarian message towards people of determination and special needs. A message that is based on veils of love, respect and appreciation of their capabilities. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassam Radi said the International Committee for International Special Olympics included heads of the seven global regions who handed over the award to President El-Sisi in presence of Minister of Social Solidarity Niveen Al-Qabbaj at al ittihadiyya Palace. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Mabouli has stressed the significance of the upcoming economic conference. The Prime Minister reviewed the conference's key features and the proposed agenda and details of which will be announced next week, along with launching a website for the conference to receive the experts' opinions and suggestions. The meeting also touched upon the ongoing preparations for the 27th UN Climate Change Conference, which is due to be hosted by Egypt in November in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh. The conference will be held on October 23rd upon directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to discuss current economic conditions and future expectations for the national economy. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri met with Rohi Fatouh, Chief of the Palestinian National Council, who is also a member of the Fatah Central Committee in Cairo on Thursday. The minister reiterated Egypt's full support for the Palestinian people until it attains its legitimate right of building an independent Palestinian state, which capital is Eastern Jerusalem along relevant international laws. Shukri expressed Egypt's grave concern regarding the latest Israeli escalation in the occupied lands and its impact on the state's efforts for holding a truce, paving the way for the revival of the stalled Middle East peace negotiation. <laughs> A 
And to details, Egypt stock market indices gained 6.5 billion pounds on Thursday, being bolstered by purchasing operations by Arab and foreign investors. The main EGX30 index soared 1.29%. The small and medium EGX70 index added 0.4%. The more expanded EGX100 added 0.51%. The overall transactions and dealings within the session reached 2.1 billion pounds.